guys, I am doing part three of my 3D jellyfish tutorial. In part one and two, I showed you how to make the jellyfish and a, the top and bottom and attach it. Now I'm going to teach you how to make the bottom part, the part that hangs down from the jellyfish. What you're going to need is your finished jellyfish. You're going to need some kind of string, whichever one you want. Um, I'm going to do a few different color beads and then a couple pieces of wire, whatever thickness you want, just that way that you can bend it. Okay. Sorry, I dropped this. Okay. Because we're going to make the little wire like this that's going to hang down from the jellyfish. Okay, we're going to start off first by making the little flare that's going to go around the bottom that's going to hide where you attach all your tentacles. And I'm going to make mine purple because I think that'll look cute. Alright. You're going to get a piece of string and I would say enough to go around your jellyfish twice. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get the bottom right down here and where we attached this top and bottom the ones that go through we're going to find that bottom layer there and we're just going to run our string through one of those so it's going to look like this now you're going to put on three of whatever color you're going to use And you're going to skip the next bead and then you're going to go into the one right after that can't get my string to go through And for this, if you want to use a sewing needle, you can. It may make it a little bit easier. And actually, I'm going to add a few more beads. That doesn't hang out enough for me. So I'm going to do five. And when you do it, you need to do it <coughs> in <coughs> an odd number. That way that you'll get the point kind of like a star. And I'm actually going to, since I made it a little bit bigger, I'm going to skip, I'm in this one that sticks down, I'm going to skip this one, and I'm going to go around to this one. So I'm going to skip this bead, this bead, and this bead, and go to that bead. Okay, let's see how this one looks now. Yeah, that's how I want it to look. see since we added an odd number we get that nice little point so now we're going to add five more on and now you can alternate colors too like if you wanted it to be each little flare to be a different color I'm going to do all my purple because I'm going to make his little tentacles underneath the flare all colorful so and now we're going to again we came out of this bead and so we're going to skip this speed, this speed, this speed, and then we're going to go through this speed right here. So it's going to look like this now. Okay. Now, and five more on. that next bead right there. And we're going to keep going around. I'm going to go ahead and finish this set real quick. Sorry if my voice sounds messed up. I 
have been fighting a cold. I want to make sure that you keep this tight while you're doing it. Now the way I've done it, we're actually going to skip more on this one, a few more, or one more, to make it fit right, I think. I messed up, so I'm going to take a couple of these off here. Alright, there we go. And try to make sure that you keep plenty of extra string on each end. Like, don't try to cut it too close. That way you have plenty to tie it. Okay. Now, here we go. I'm going to do my last one here. Tie it off. Okay. And then this is what you're going to look like. <clears throat> now, I pushed mine in right here so I could do it. You can just take your finger and you can pop it back out if you want. And he's going to look like this. Now, we're going to cut off these excess right here and then what we're going to do up under here is you're going to make a couple of these two or three of them however many you want and you're just going to like I said I'll put them on wire and I kind of wind them around and then I just take them up under here and I basically just twirl it around you know, like this. Like you're doing wire wrapping. And if I have any extra, I can just trim it off. Okay. And 
and then I'll just use my pliers to tighten it up some. And then this is what it'll look like. Sorry. Okay. Now. You're going to do a couple of those. And then you're also going to take, you can take some string. You can take um, some, I just have some yarn here. And I'm going to cut it so I don't waste my string. And then we're going to get whatever color we want. I think I'm going to use yellow. And we're going to start putting it on just like you would a single. Now on this, it probably is easier to have a, a needle. And we're going to start running it on. I'm going to do this. And then I'm running out of time on this video. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a couple of these. I'm going to make one more of my wire ones. And then um, we'll make a the last part of the tutorial where we'll finish it up. And you can see what it looks like. If you have any comments or questions... Um, put them below.